Yo, 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 what's happening, people? Okay, so today we are making fondant fancies, otherwise known as French fancies. Uh, I watched a video online. This is not my recipe. <laughs> Pretty much just copying other people's content at this point. But see, yeah, I watched the video online, wrote down the recipe, the ingredients, the equipment, and all that kind of stuff there. Um, and this is what it said we needed. So we're going to attempt to make fondant fancies very first time trying this. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. All right, so the first thing we need to do is mix four ounces of butter with four ounces of sugar. And we need to mix it until it's light and fluffy. All right, so and that's about mixed up. Now we've got to add two eggs and let's see if I can do this this time. One hand, no shell. Damn it. Close though, close. One teaspoon of vanilla. Two teaspoons of oil. And probably better to have a easier way to pour the oil than I do. Now we've got to mix until combined. I think that's about mixed in. I don't know. I think. <laughs> Looks about right. I think. Anyway, now we need four and a half ounces of self raisin flour. Half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of corn flour, and half a teaspoon of baking powder. Now we're gonna mix that in. Now we're gonna add one ounce of buttermilk. I actually said you can use regular milk or buttermilk. I want buttermilk because it just sounds better, so put that in. Now mix that in. So these are my cake molds. If you're posh, you can probably use actual cake molds, but if you're not, <laughs> you can use foil and some kind of cube shaped thing. It's not even a cube, it's more of an oblong. But anyway, some kind of shaped thing to wrap it around. That was a tip from the video that I watched, by the way, so I'm not even gonna try and take credit for that, but it's a good idea. I feel like these look okay. These look okay, but we've got to coat them with oil on the inside. A little oil. This brush might be a little bit too big now that I'm looking at it though, but anyway, here we are. I'm gonna coat the inside with oil. Like that. So now we're gonna put this as evenly as possible into these. And I reckon this is probably gonna get messy, so I'll put something down just in case. Uh, it doesn't have to be a newspaper, of course, just anything that you don't mind throwing away afterwards, like you know, if you've got like a Tottenham kit or something like that, then you can use that. But uh, yeah, I'm using <laughs> this for now. I'm gonna put this in an oven for, I think it's about 20 minutes-ish. And while we're doing that, we're gonna work on the frosting. All right, so now we're gonna mix two tablespoons of butter and five tablespoons of icing sugar. And uh, we're gonna mix it. All right, one sec. Now we're gonna add half a teaspoon of vanilla. Right, that might be more than half actually. And half a teaspoon of milk. Going with the buttermilk again, there we go. Now we're gonna mix all this up, but because it's already stirred up a bit, this time round, we get to use the whisk. This goes in the fridge while we work on the icing. Now for the icing, you need eight tablespoons of icing sugar and three to four teaspoons of water. I'm just gonna do three for now, cause you know, see how it goes. So first of all, that three to four teaspoons of water is nonsense. I actually ended up putting something like, I don't even know, like six or seven maybe in the end. Anyway, here we are, we got the icing. But we've gotta do this two more times. 
one for each color. So I've got yellow, I've got pink, and I've got red. Um, they, they probably got actual flavors, but we're just gonna go with yellow, pink, and red because, yeah. Anyway, start with pink. You should only need a little bit though. I said, I'm going to do this two more times, but yeah. So that is all the icing mixed. Also, cakes are ready. you got to test them to make sure they're not all like gooey in the middle or whatever, but they're all fine. Let them cool down a bit as well. So we're going to take these out of the foil now. All right, so this is what they look like when you take them out of the foil. So we're going to need to give them a bit of a shape up, a bit of a trim to kind of get them all the kind of same size and shape. You know, just take the edges off and then, then we start decorating. So this is what they look like now. These are the edges that I cut off and they will not be wasted. Man, they yam these up. Right, now, we also got the frosting out of the fridge. So we're gonna turn these into like little balls and put them on top. The icing so by now the icing might have hardened or gotten a little bit too thick so I might just add a little bit more also maybe like a couple of teaspoons just to help loosen it a bit and this should be enough for two So here's what I learned so far. If I ever make these things again, I'm gonna use an actual cake holder tin thing because that foil was not a good idea. Cause like, here's the thing, yeah? It produced an uneven shape around the size. Like the edge, the bottom's bit were, well that's, that's down to me. But around the size, it's just uneven. And it just meant that it kept falling over and I couldn't really get all the frosting on because it just kept falling over. This one in particular piece broke off and it just kept falling over. So yeah, this is, <laughs> This is what I'm left with. This is what I'm left with. Anyway, I'm gonna put these in the fridge and uh, <laughs> see how they turn out. And here we are, the final product. Yeah. <laughs> I tried to decorate them a little bit. I'm not sure you can tell, but I, I did try. Definitely a few things I could have done differently in hindsight. Some mistakes were made. Probably should have used better equipment, or at least very least maybe when I cut off the edges, maybe paid a bit more attention to how straight they were, because, yeah. But hey, first effort, first effort. And it's not about how it looks, it's about how it tastes. So let me try one of these. I'm gonna try this one, because that's clearly the most mashed up one of all of them. So let me try that one, and then, well, we'll, uh, we'll see the, what, what's the word, the, the final verdict. Trying my very first homemade French fancy or fondant fancy as they are sometimes called made by yours truly <laughs> man this came out so mash up the, that bit broke off and it just kept falling over a lot of them kept falling over but anyway I tried man I tried but look at that look at that got the frosting on top at least that's something well that's a bit mash up too but hey it's something anyway let's don't know how it looks so that's how it tastes so here we go bone apple tea. <laughs> it's not too bad. I feel like the uh, frosting and the icing definitely saves it. The cake mix is okay, you know, maybe I should have left it to cook a little bit longer or something like that, but it's okay, it's okay. It's, um, it's edible and it's not disgusting. <laughs> and that's always a good result for a first effort. Edible and not disgusting. But um, I've got five more of these, so till whenever, if ever. <laughs>